When it comes to smartphones, usually the choice is between Android or iOS. Do you go with Google's more open operating system or do you go with Apple's slicker but maybe slightly more closed system? Well, now you might not need to decide at all, thanks to a hack that lets you run Android on an iPhone. The hack was created by a startup called Corellium, who are currently being sued by Apple because of their tools which let you create software-only versions of the iPhone. That makes the timing of this hack that little bit more interesting and a little bit cheeky. We tested it on an iPhone 7, though the company's co-founder Chris Wade says it should work on other devices soon. Okay, cool. All right, so here we've got an iPhone 7 running uh, iOS 13.3. Um, and over here we have a Mac terminal open and we're going to run the uh, code here that it's going to put Android on the iPhone 7. Okay, so under there, the program starts running, you put your thumb on the power button and the other thumb on the volume down button. The screen go dark and hopefully on the Mac screen, there you go. Okay, so it's found the device here and it's now going to start to um, upload Android, hopefully. That's the check rain jailbreak um, symbol, so you know that that's running and working. We had already installed that beforehand. And this is uh, the Linux, the basis of Android launching what will hopefully be Android. In three, two, one. There you go. So, yeah, here it is Android on an iPhone. We can go down to uh, about. Corellium has put a handful of apps on its Android 10 for iPhone. That includes the encrypted messaging app Signal. So there are probably more use cases than just running Google's operating system on Apple's phone for the hell of it. For now, this won't work on the latest iPhone models. That's because it relies on something called a jailbreak. And in this case, the jailbreak, known as Check Rain, only works on models from iPhone 5S through to iPhone 10 or X. There's also the risk that jailbreaking might open up your iPhone to more attacks. So you want to consider whether this is for you at all. But you will be able to try this out soon. Though we only tried the beta version of the hack, it'll be available from a website called projectsandcastle.org pretty soon. So it'll be fun to see how Apple fanboys and Android lovers will react, not to mention how well Apple takes the news.